So I just got in the Zero E P224S carbon fiber monopod from photogear.co.nz. It comes in this fancy little bag that has Zero E written on it. Got a little handle for you to carry it around with. Comes with two little hooks on the ends. And let's dive in and see what we get. So opening up the bag, we get a whole lot of goodies. It comes with a little strap that you can hook on to the two carabiner hooks to either side. It also comes with another head that you can attach to the base if you need that. Comes with some Allen keys that you can use to tighten various bits and pieces of this monopod. A spike foot, also handy if you are in uneven terrain. And then we come to the main item of this unboxing the monopod itself. It is looking very fine with all this machined aluminum. Oh, I'm starting to talk like an American now. Um, there's some good buttons on the side that you can release all of the feet. And it's got a very nice click to it when it, when it fits in. Um, just the build quality of this, we'll get rid of this bag, is top notch. And when we stand it up on the table, it's looking pretty good. So as I've read online, the main features of this monopod is that it has a locking base. So a nice little ring here at the bottom. It has twist locks, three twist locks to increase the size of it. Um, it has a, another knob right here that controls the twist of the head. One of the other things that I like is it has a 3 8 inch screw at the top that can be reversed to a quarter inch that you can attach straight to your camera body, as I have here a Canon 80D. It's got a um, quarter inch screw at the bottom, but if you're wanting to put it on a ball joint or a video, um, video head, then you can also attach that right onto there with no problems. I must say, looking at it to start with, it is a very tall monopod for the shortest you can get it. Although you can unscrew the bottom here, take the whole thing off, then get the other head and screw. So you can see there it has a quarter screw on the top and a 3 8 inch thread on the bottom. You can push that through, drop it down in, attach it to the base, spin it on, get it nice and tight. There we go. And then we can place this camera on the top. And now we've got a little base for it to sit on. We can even tighten down this nut, get it real tight. And there you have another little tripod. And we still have a monopod to use in the event that we need a mini tripod and an actual monopod. And in the case that you don't need this strap, you can always take the top off, drop it off, and then place it on without that in the way. I bought the carbon fiber version because this was the only one that was in stock. But if you don't have the money for this, then by all means go for the P204S, which is the aluminium one. Um, it pretty much is the same specs, carries the same weight, it's only like 100 grams lighter, so why wouldn't you um, if that one's in stock? And weight doesn't mean too much to you. Well, 100 grams isn't much anyway. On closer inspection, all of the labels seem to be really great, telling you which way to unlock and lock um, when you pull all of them out. It feels like you can really beat this monopod up, and it's going to do all right. So... It's, it is a very long monopod when you stand it up. I'm about six foot two, and when I put the camera straight onto this without without a video head, it still comes up to about my face, but my nose height. So if you put a video head on that, that's going to be well over six foot two, maybe even six foot three, depending on what size head you put on it. My main use for this will be for weddings, um, promotional videos, maybe a bit of real estate. So. I'll be giving this a good test. I've got a wedding coming up in a couple weekends time, so I'll give you an update and review. So stay posted to the channel and you'll see a review of this in no time at all. So thanks for watching. See you later.